Hey, good morning, ladies. How are you today? Good. How are you? Uh, fantastic. It's only, it's on only on unison. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, nice and early. Thank you so much for for getting up and chatting with me about sure. younger. Congratulations on season six. Quite an accomplishment, Thank I have you. to say. That's amazing. What do you think it is about the success and why it's such a hit, and how how it is, you know, I guess relating to audiences? What do you think that is? Well, I think um, ageism is something everyone either is dealing with or will eventually have to deal with. So I think the initial sort of idea of the show sparks people's interest. But I think what keeps them watching is just how much fun we have with each other and the fact that the show is coming from a kind of a hopeful, optimistic place. There's a lot of darkness around there. And this is really kind of aspirational, hopeful show. It's a delightful confection that's actually about something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that because the, you guys have such great chemistry. All of you do. And I, I, by now it has to be just basically friends as opposed to just acting cohorts, yeah. you know? It's a delight. I, I feel like when we're at work, it, it rarely feels like work. Um, it's, it's really cool to be practicing our craft, right, as like actors, but also in this incredibly trusting environment with people you really genuinely like. And we're, you know, we get to play these cool tennis matches at work. Yeah, and at, at this point we really, we're a family, you know, and everybody enjoys going to work and everyone comes to it. I mean, I think it starts from the top down. I, I think getting to work with Sutton Foster. And Darren. And Darren Starr, are, they're, they're just supremely pos positive people. Uh, and everybody just wants to go to work, have a good time, yeah. get it done, and make it a really positive place to be. Yeah, yeah, and and it's fun to watch it too. I have to tell you from my perspective. So you can <laughs> so tell like, we're having you fun. You can tell that we like each other <laughs> generally, and, and yeah. we love the scripts. Yeah. You know, we all really love the show, and I think that's a big reason of why it's why it's been so successful. It is the there's there's so much good intention behind it, yeah. and and joy. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask both of you, you know, how have you both changed and evolved, um, you know, not just on the show, but personally, uh, since you started the, these with these characters and how have they changed you guys? Yeah, it's so it's so great to be an actor and to get to play a character over the course of six seasons. It's a rarity, right, it's to rare. get to stick with a character for that long and not just stay with the character, but grow with them and watch them develop. And that's just a really rare thing in, in, as an actor, you know, because you could do a play for a long run, but that's the same story, you know, that Nightly. changes each night, each, night, each night with a different audience, but you do have a same beginning, same ending. And this has been a, a, just such a joy to get to kind of follow the trajectory of, of, this, of these characters. And for me personally, to play someone who is unapologetic about her own power yeah, that kind of there's a level of osmosis that happens where you start to feel a, a little confidence and also just realize that you can um, believe in yourself and you don't have to apologize. There's, there's a lot of apologizing in my life for like taking up space, <laughs> you know, and that's not something Diana Trout would ever do. So to play someone like that, it, it does kind of get in, gets in your, under your skin. Yeah, I really, I really relate to that. You know, when I first uh, started working on Younger, I was fresh out of grad school. I think I was like 25. And I, oh. yeah, I, I, I'm older than that now. And um, <laughs> it's, uh -huh. uh, and I have learned so much, especially in regards to the osmosis. Like I was so mousy and afraid of doing, doing it wrong. And playing Lauren, who has the confidence of like a, a well endowed male, um, I have been able to, you know, channel a, just a, a little bit of that. Yeah. And uh, I've grown so much. Yeah. From just yeah. being on the show. Yeah, she she's a real trail trailblazer. Oh, You've done yes. such a great job. You, yeah, you, you both you both are so great to watch Aww. in the show. Now, I, listen, season five, the finale left us with a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah. So, can you give us a little bit of a hint at, of what's coming up in season six? And being a Broadway babe, I am very excited that we're going to have a musical number. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. America. No, um, I, I get, listen, I just I know that 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 video has dropped. So people have seen me and Sutton Foster and Hillary Duff singing nine to five at Marie's Crisis. Dream come true. Get your seatbelts on. Yeah. So, I mean, I just love that. That's how we start the season. I know. We're like, buckle up. It's going to be fun. Um, uh, uh, and that that's how we resolve like one of the main plot lines in the first episode is by 
singing a Dolly Parton song because that's how you can really fix any problem in your life, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my gosh. For sure. For sure. Uh, well, listen, and, and listen, uh, Miriam, I, I just have to ask you about your, your necklaces. I know everybody asks you about that, but do you get to keep any or are you like battered and bruised from them? I don't get to keep any, which is kind of okay. Cause in my actual real life, IRL stands for in real life. Um, I found out cause of the show. Um, it, I don't wear any jewelry. I, I don't even wear a wedding ring <laughs> cause I'm not a jewelry gal. Um, but yeah. yes, oh, they no, do. That's not why. They, uh, <laughs> Bonnie, the, no. <laughs> the necklaces do leave her battered and bruised, though. I actually uh, do get bruised. There was a delightful necklace that I loved so much from last season that has like two um, flamingo heads kind of meeting here. And I would try to put that necklace on with every outfit when I had a fitting because I was like, we need this one. We need this one. America needs to see it. And then when I actually did wear it, it bruised the crap out of my neck. And I was bruised for like at least a week. I've also bled from my jewelry. That's gross. Um, and that, I can't it's all for it's you. It's all for art. Art's oh, sake. art. Yeah. Um, but so I don't bring them home, is what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> there have also been some earrings that when I put them in, I'm like, oh no, 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 things will break. I can't do that. That's not going to be okay. It's not going to make it. So, uh, but that said, like, I'm always like, should we put a little more? Should we do a little more? Like, I do, for Diana's sake, want it want because it's like her armor you know when she puts those on but it's also her statement to the world of like i got this you know and um and and jackie dimaterio who just won an award last night for, for her, her use of accessories on, yeah, uh, for her specifically for her use of accessories who, who is our costume designer is magical yeah. the stuff she brings amazing. to me amazing well let's yeah listen we have to wrap because i know there's so many people waiting to talk to you but thank you so much uh the premiere is uh tomorrow night uh june 12th uh season six but just keep them coming okay. i really appreciate it and and i want both of you ladies to come visit us in toronto oh you know, my god i love you toronto I thought, you know i might be yeah. in toronto soon. I'm a, i am gonna be in there filming this summer well okay oh. i'll look you up we'll go have coffee exactly. oh sweet <laughs> okay. Take care. Thanks so much, Thank ladies. You. Thank Appreciate you. it. Bye. Okay. Take Bye. care. Bye.